This is going to be your groundwork for a two-point perspective drawing. The first thing you're going to do is find your most prominent corner and place that somewhere on the horizon line. You don't need to know the height of it yet, you just kind of need to know where you want to put it on the page. That's mostly a compositional decision. Then you measure from the prominent corner over to the edge of the page and you'll be transposing that off the opposite side of the page. Then you measure uh, the other side, we'll call that distance B, and you're going to transpose that off the off the opposite side of the page on the left. So that is going to determine the location of your vanishing points. So what you're doing is you're effectively doubling the size of the paper uh, to find your vanishing points. And this assumes that you're working on a horizontal format. It's a little bit different if you're doing perspective in a vertical format. So here you found your first and second vanishing points on your left and your right side. So we know that what we want to do is create a 45 degree viewing window or field of vision. Um, and we know that our vanishing points are 90 degrees apart, just like north, south, east, and west. So if our paper is 45 degrees and 24 inches wide, we know that our vanishing points have to be 48 inches apart because we're doubling the number of degrees. And that's how you determine how, how far apart the vanishing points are. What's uncomfortable about two-point perspective is that that places the vanishing points well off the page on either side. And uh, in the next segment, we're going to go over how to set that up physically with an actual piece of paper.